Hey guys and gals, Aunt Diane here. Today I'm going to talk about um, the fact that online scamming can be done in person, of course, but it can also be done by a company, not just individuals. Um, this man paid almost $300,000 for a special Mercedes, which the poor man never received. He panicked, tried contacting the company, which is in Hollywood, Florida, and there were no results. Finally, News 10 went to go see, uh, it's called Dream Auto Collection in Hollywood, uh, Florida. And, you know, at first the owner was, you know, giving him a line of bull crap. But then the newsman remembered that the news agency was there before. A couple in Georgia, the same thing happened to them when they were buying a car. I know there are a lot of commercials now that you can get buy cars online and have them uh, delivered to you. But um, I don't know if that's for a specific company or just anybody. I don't trust it. Now, this news story, or the news channel said, if the man in Hawaii had checked out um, the place online and reviews and everything, and so if there were stories about the couple in Georgia, maybe it would have alerted him not to do business with these people. The story of the couple in Georgia, they spent $15,000 for a Lexus that they never received. And they were kind of going through the same thing as the man in Hawaii, only he had sent almost 300000 uh, He couldn't get a hold of the company, and he was going crazy. But finally, once the news showed up, uh, they gave some cock and bull story about they accidentally sold the car to somebody else. We're going to give him a refund. Let's see if that happens before they go bankrupt. Uh, also, the same story would go for the people in Georgia, which I believed did get a refund after they reported the scam. Okay, now I went on the company's page. I read the many reviews. Some of them said, amazing team of professionals, pleased to deal with them. One place, very rude, disrespectful. And the company of Dream Auto said, buyers beware. Someone is spreading false info, hurting our good name. So anytime someone did a five-star review, you know, it was great. And then uh, some people that did a bad uh, review, like this one, they didn't answer. They gave one star. Oh, no, here. I wish I could understand this incoherent gibberish. Come by our office and explain your question or concern. Sure, um, everybody's right down the road from you, you schmucks. Um, so every time somebody gave a good review, it was fine. But when somebody, you know, gave a terrible review, they'd say, this is a fake review. This person never did business with us. Okay. I am not going to deal with these people, obviously. And I, I have a car, used car, runs fine. These are people who have lots of money, I guess, or they saved it up for years for a dream car. And it turned out to just be a dream, and it ended up being a nightmare. Please, this is not to just, you know, point at one company that's a, a scam. There are probably many companies that are scams, and I don't trust buying something sight unseen. You're much better off seeing car in person and doing some research on the company not only just on their reviews but you know dig into google a little bit sometimes they have this thing called whois.com and they'll say who owns the company and everything um and not the average person can do a pull a dun and bradstreet report on every company but you can do a little research and find out especially if you're going to send over three hundred thousand dollars so these schmucks finally agreed to send, to refund the money to this man. 
And like I said before, I sure hope he gets it and doesn't, um, and that the place doesn't just go bankrupt. So it's just a little caution to please tell people to be careful. My eyes are opened up now, so I turn on the light. Like, that's really relevant to this video, right? I'm just saying, please be careful, folks. Um, my next video, I'm going to talk about the actual victims of romance scams. And it's not going to be to put anybody down, but it's sort of an analysis of where they might be in their life. So stay tuned. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.